Hi you guys, it's Crypto Sugar, and today we're going to talk about decentralization and centralization. And this is a very important topic and everybody talks about it and why it makes blockchain technology so important. Decentralization is, is a key component to blockchain technology. What decentralization does is, well first let's define what centralization is. Centralization is when you have one entity that rules a group. So it could be a big corporation because they have CEOs. It could be a bank because they have somebody who governs a whole, it, you, everybody is a, one central bank and we're all affiliated to it. Um, it could be an internet service provider, also known, also known as an ISP because that internet service provider provides service to everybody around. Now what happens is when you have decentralization is that everything gets spread out so it's not just one CEO it's a group of peers in peer-to-peer -peer technology that are exchanging information between each other so this is amazing because there's so many benefits to it first of all these decentralized groups are less likely to fail because if there's an attack that comes onto them they can't they, they can't hit the head they have to go and hit everybody and it's too expensive and it's very hard to do. It makes me think of um, that movie Independence Day with Will Smith. So at the end, the way that, the, that we beat the aliens is that one guy goes up into the, into the one bad alien's butt. <laughs> See, if they had been decentralized, they probably would have won the war. But that one guy was really smart at the end of Independence Independence Day 1. I think it's Independence Day 1. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> so, <laughs> decentralized systems are less likely to fail. Uh, decentralized systems, what else is good about them? They're harder to attack because they have so many components. Oh, and another thing. With decentralized systems, it's it's harder to collude. If you don't, collusion is when groups get together to manipulate certain markets. So if there isn't a head of a group, then you can't have collusion between different groups. So, because it's harder to get millions, of, millions and millions of people to agree and to manipulate the market in a certain way. So these are all the reasons why decentralization is better and it's working for us so it's what we need to do and bringing decentralization into the world is called being disruptive someone just whistled at me <laughs> so being disruptive and that's what decentralization does it's breaking up a centralized system it's creating a better future